This is the hard floor question. Hard floor fits out nightclubs. The projects generally take a number of months to complete. The company has three contracts in progress at the year ended 30th of April. Let's have a look at these numbers and they are reasonably familiar. Costs incurred to date, costs to complete, contract price, work certified, so it's a work certified basis as opposed to cost basis, and progress payments against the contract price. So uh, that looks like uh, enough information. Hard for accrues profits on its construction contracts using percentage of completion derived from sales earned as work certified compared to the total sales value. So it's uh, just detailing exactly how it works it out. Same structure uh, as with all such questions, overall contract, progress to date, and then we <coughs> make our statements of profit or loss and the financial position. The overall uh, contract, and when doing these questions, you just go to the first step and complete that as best you can, then on to the next one. Don't worry about the whole thing. Just let it build up. The contract price, uh, 416 row, and that is the 416 row, so that, that's the total contract price. Costs to date, the 320 row, uh, and that's uh, reflected there. And costs to complete, the 40 row, 40, 90, and 220. So our overall profit and loss is 56, 54, and 60 on these three contracts. What progress have we made so far? That we measure by work certified. So work certified is 312 for J, 456 for K, and there's no work certified for L, so we make a zero entry there. Again, we're not going to worry about problems until we meet them. The overall price of the contract, so 312 has been certified, 416 is the overall price, and that's going to measure our progress. 456 and 2684. So 312 divided by 416, if you get out your calculators and calculate it, it's 0 0.75. 456 over 684 is two thirds, in other words, 0 0.6 recurring. Your calculator may well show that uh, it's approximated here as 0.67, all I can say is that in questions, we try to avoid two thirds because it makes a small difference. I think a difference of about 2000 in this case. But uh, this is worked out on the exact two thirds proportion, not the 0.67. And then finally here, well, we've got no completion, right? Uh, progress is apparently zero. So, uh, well, uh, let's uh, just carry on and see what happens. Our statement of profit or loss is going to be revenue, uh, uh, and we apply to our revenue uh, the proportion 0.75, so obviously, trivially, 0.75 of 416 is 312. So we could also look at it as the revenue is the work certified. So 312 and 456 are the work certified. There's no work certified for L. So what have we done? Well, you can see there that, that what we've done is we've put in 20. And the question is, why have we put in 20? Well, if we put nothing in, then we'd be showing a loss. And it doesn't seem fair to say, well, you know, you've spent 20 million, nothing has been certified. Therefore, currently you are in a loss position. It wasn't certified. Why wasn't it certified? They've not reached the certification date. But that doesn't mean to say that the work they've done is of no value whatsoever. Clearly, the accountant can't report a profit, right? The accounts, rather, can't report a profit. But it seems unfair that they should report a loss. So we do the classic thing and take the middle road and say, well, we'll say you're just breaking even, right? So we're not anticipating any profits, but at the same time, we're not reporting losses when there doesn't seem to be any justification for that. 
Now that's going to depend partly on the circumstances, whether there are issues, but if assuming that there aren't any issues, then it seems reasonable to put in a revenue of 20 simply to ensure that the profit is zero. That's the judgment we make in the case of L. Now here is a, a small difference. When we look at our uh, inventory, we've got a position where we have actually spent 320 up here. And we have actually charged out 270. So here again, we've got this position that we had in the Amir problem, whereby we've spent 320, but we've only charged out 270. So we've got a spare 50 of debits hanging around uh, in our accounts that we're holding over. And we do that by treating it as work in progress on our statement of financial position. So it, it uh, comes out as a current asset. And we have the similar problem for K, where we have 540 uh, expensed uh, costs incurred to date, so debits of 540, and we've only credited out 420. So that's a difference. We've got 120 of debits of expenses that we're not charging out. We're not crediting expenses, debiting cost of sales. We it, We've got 120 that's just sitting there. So as we said with Amir, it's a bit like purchases that have not gone, that have kind of stayed as closing stock. And that comes to 120. With the uh, L1, we have uh, costs incurred to date as, as 20, but our cost of sales is also 20 so that we're not declaring any work in progress there. So that's a zero. And uh, th those are our inventory entries. Then the final row of figures we've got, and that is the payments we've received compared to the contract price. So they owe us, uh, the, well, the sale price, if you like, is 416 and sorry the sale price is is 416 but the uh, revenue that we are charging to the account is 312 the work certified so that's how much we're saying uh, we are owed it's what our sales figure is and uh, of that they've paid 250 so that's uh, 62 that is not paid then when we come to K, we've got our revenue charged is 456 there, and they paid us 480. So they've overpaid us, and uh, on that basis, we've got cash sitting in our accounts that is actually owed to our uh, to our customer. Right? It doesn't doesn't say who K is, but is owed to K. So it's a payable, it's a, a credit to K and a debit to cash of 24. And then finally, we've got the L, which we've invoiced, or not invoiced, but we've got this sale figure of 20 and we've received no payments. So it's an outstanding 20. And the explanations are detailed there. That's our uh, overall entries for Hard Floor House.